Hey, welcome to Air Assault Mode. This is uh, RGC205. You can call me Rob. I, uh, I'm making my first tutorial type video on this battle mode that is way, way, way underrepresented in gameplay on uh, War Thunder. It's uh, simple and easy to use. A lot of people are not aware it's even there. Um, anyway. I'm currently spading out my FNF or correction SX a uh, correction F6 F5 November the Night Rider Hellcat that's in the American Tech Tree. You can see my crew skills and mods flipping by. Uh, the cool thing about air assault uh, mode is you can uh, work on your crew. It's absolutely free. It says once a day on the tab. But, yeah, you can get a battle box once a day. You get a special reward. But for the most part, you can uh, fly these missions all day, every day. You ha don't have to pay for the ammo. You don't have to pay for repairs. You can get shot down all you want. Uh, now, uh, your planes actually cost a little bit. Maybe, like, in, in the instance of the Hellcat, it could be somewhere in the neighborhood of... Uh, I think it's 1,000 lines or, or something along those lines. As, as we get in uh, and, and f work our way through the mission, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take it easy here and, and see what it is. Uh, here's our F F6FN, or F6F5 November, the Night Fighter Hellcat. Um, you can see I, I, I finally got my stealth ammo. And, uh, whoop, there's engine. We're in the gameplay now. Uh, weapons conversion, convergence on this particular mission is uh, 400 meters. In arcade, I like 400 meters. I'm a, I went to the long shot uh, school of weapons conversion early on in War Thunder. I've been playing for a while. I find 400 meters in arcade works really really well uh, the little bit of realistic that I fly I like to push it out to 600 uh, because everybody just loves their heads on the great thing about these air assault missions is you can work on your tactics and approach angles like this particular mission I'm in an unspaded I have uh, almost all of the weapons meaning uh, I have all the weapons modules the machine guns and the cannon or it's just machine guns uh, spaded out or correction I have all those modules researched uh, really all I have left to work on is, uh, is the engine the airframe wings and uh, stuff like that but for the most part if I can get close enough without getting blasted out of the sky by these B-17s which really suck in this type of mission uh, but, you know, they're the AIB 17s that were so hated early on and during confrontation and stuff. There, I got a critical. B-17s, you do not want to sit behind them. That's why the German pilots love to get high, dive from a, a, a rear or a forward facing angle, and uh, just cut in, confuse the gunners and whatnot. Remember there, when you're facing B-17s, especially in formation, you want to stay at least two kilometers away from them while you're climbing and chasing them down. You can see in my unspaded, you know, I'm struggling. Even with flaps up, I'm only getting about 250 miles per hour. I'm barely gaining on the B-17. I got a couple of assists. But these bombers, there, there are two places you really want to focus on especially in, in arcade. If you can come in from the front, you want to focus on the pilots. Uh, if you come in from the rear, you want to get in on the engines. And in like this instance, uh, I knocked out the, the machine gunner, so it was okay to stay behind for a little bit. The rear gunner, the tail gunner. But you got to worry about the defensive fire of the other aircraft. You can see I'm getting chewed up, but since I've knocked most of the gunners out, you know, I'm here, and I, you know, 
like I said, in red, big bold red. Chasing a B-17 is dumb. Chasing any kind of bomber is dumb because they all have tail gunners, especially when in formation. Uh, you get inside that defensive arc, you're screwed. So it's best to pick off the ones on the outside. Come in from the come in from the uh, from a high altitude. Come in from the front. You get the pilots. Uh, maybe you'll, you'll get that, that top off that top turret gunner, and uh, you have an angle when they dive away or when they start spinning. You work on your deflection shooting, uh, which is a whole other. Uh, I, I, there's a playlist I'll link to. Guy, he, he hasn't made a video in a long time, but learning how to fly planes and learning the basic maneuvers is uh, almost absolutely key. Well, we're trying to land, because landing is cheap compared to buying a new plane. Uh, you'll come in, you'll land, you'll get reloaded, rearmed, repaired, uh, all for free in the air assault mode, because this is an arcade mission. I think you'll find... Uh, yeah, there's something... You'll, you'll find about every uh, War Thunder pilot, especially once he's gone to MAGS or uh, MAGS, M-A-G-Z, or uh, especially Longshot. Longshot doesn't make videos anymore because of uh, personal health reasons and uh, family stuff, but uh, he's great. Now while we're here, we're landing, rearming. It's going to take, depending on your crew strength, it's going to take a little while. You can see up in the top left. Um, that's my HUD layout for what I what I see. On the bottom left, you see the condition of the aircraft. You know, I did this thing a lot. How I did not get shot down, I don't know. Most important thing, especially when going against bombers or any aircraft, is altitude is key. The Hellcat was a hell of an aircraft during the war. Uh, you know, we made 15, 20,000 of them in a three-year period, they rolled off the assemb one assembly line like crazy and only two variants, the night fighter and then the other variant that was uh, sold to the, the allies. Uh, it came off real cheap. It was the Ford Mustang, if you will, or the Chevy truck. You know, they hung every bomb, torpedo, whatnot. This, this, you're seeing me make another mistake. I'm not getting up. If you want to participate and try to help your team win because this you also get to learn teamwork don't do this right here which is chase you know going mine 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 chasing the nearest aircraft because if you see off to the left there's one two three yeah I get the kill but he's already attacked my base he's already dropped bombs so it's worthless look and there's a there's a mine a, uh, mine, 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 mine. There's a, uh, I want to say porgs, you know what I mean, the yellow things. Uh, anyway, uh, once something's already passed your base, don't chase it, don't, because it's already done its damage, and the odds are somebody else will be chasing it, a faster plane especially because you're not space. Now here, I looked up at my mini map, and this is where you can learn. Now, I've been playing War Thunder for years and years and years, and I'm first finally trying to get better. I misread my map. Um, I'm used to seeing on some of these missions the artillery shows up right next to the airport. I saw that, and I went, <gasps> artillery, and I dove, and I gave up all my altitude. It's going to take you in arcade. You know, a good three or four minutes to get up to altitude. Uh, and, and I highly recommend, especially with the Hellcat, you get high and stay high. Because um, your only other option is when they bring in the Bearcats or attackers, and you definitely don't want to get in front of them. I finally wise up and go, okay, I can't protect my base from all the bombers that are dropping bombs. You can hear them right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and do the ground targets. This particular mission, uh, everybody left them alone. I don't, I don't want to chase that guy and kill still, but you 
really need to. There's a chaser. There's a chaser. Since we're going in the direction of my ground targets, I'm going to help him follow. This guy can't hit, shoot squat and he's smoking, so my kill. Sorry, dude. You've been emptying those 4,000, almost 4,500, 4,000 rounds of uh, 50 caliber machine gun into your target and learn how to shoot. Okay. Um, you can work on your ground pound. The easiest way to do, uh, especially these howitzer positions, is from a, a very steep bank. Well, not a, yeah, not a full-blown dive like a dive bomb. But you can see I'm shooting high. I get this. So, all right. So my Hellcat's not spaded, but I can farm. I can farm ground targets. And you'll see guys like this in the uh, realistic because they will wear out the ground targets. This is arcade, so the whole whole team sees these on the map. They're marked. All you gotta do is look for them. However, in this particular case, since my whole team is climbing, or at least trying, none of them are really doing much of anything. Um, it's only one or two. Now, wasting a whole lot of time over this last couple of ground targets. Should have ah see if I paid attention to my map, my targeting, and I came in a little, you know, just stretched out, you know, extended just a little bit, like I'm doing right here, I'm getting a little higher. This is way too high. Then I'm going to dump my cannons, machine gun around right into the heart of the target. Okay, one more. All right, I see hidden in the trees, but this is well marked. Anyway, you get into a realistic battle, there, there, you'll, you'll find out there are guys who know where all, I mean, they just have the maps almost memorized. There we go, flash ground target. Okay, now let's go kill something. Uh, my intention is to chase the attackers, but then I see a whole bunch of people on the attackers. Not doing a very good job of killing them, but there's not a whole lot I can do because I have zero altitude. And like a dummy, my flaps are still down, so I am not gaining any speed even though I'm on full web. Uh, so this is a whole lot of how not to do it. Because I'm trying to figure out at this point, I remember, I'm like, why am I not gaining any speed? It was about this time I realized I still have my flaps on. So I took my flaps off. And suddenly, those were Hail Mary. Uh, not going to do much of anything. When you have your convergence set at, uh, when you have your convergence set at 400 meters, uh, so it comes from your machine guns. They all are zeroed at 400 meters. Then it goes out to 800 meters where, you know, you have the, spread equivalent of the widest part of your your guns anyway that's the hellcat unspaded i finished third place on the whole team yay um two guys even squatted up i did okay i didn't get shot down by the b-17s and i like this guy he's like spread out more he's trying to take charge but you know the whole point here is this is free cheap and easy uh, you don't use up your medallions or your tasks. I, you know, took some screenshots to prove here that, yeah, the research counts. Um, the more active you are in the game, of course, the, the more you get. Um, anyway, uh, this is me uh, trying to, you know, I'm about halfway through spading out my Hellcat. You can get it in a day or two or six or seven missions, depending on, you know, how, how busy you are. You'll get a battle box once a day out of it. And uh, some of them are really, really good. So thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, you can catch me in game. I'm RGC2005. Uh, you can Google my name up. Yeah, I do have a, a website that points to the YouTube channel, rgc205.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in game.